if I be able to reveal that in the subsidy era, some businessmen took advantage of the low cost of subsidized fuel in Nigeria and have added large volumes to neighboring countries where they make huge profits, while the targeted beneficiaries in Nigeria grown in acute scarcity, making subsidy on petroleum no longer feasible when this administration came on board. The gas minister highlighted the huge gas that was in Nigeria, which at the present stands at about 209 trillion cubic feet proven reserves, with potential of reserves increasing to 600 trillion cubic feet. He added that President Tinubu meant well in ending fuel subsidy as the decision has allowed more focus and investment in the gas sector. While government is trying to repair the environment, our people within the environment should desist from uh, um, all this smuggling pipeline uh, destruction. Because the gas that we are using today is associated gas. And when they disrupt crude production, it will affect us a lot. Apple informed the NUJ leadership of licenses granted to some companies to convert the gas flood in country for commercial purposes, while efforts are ongoing to various government programs and initiatives to ensure more Nigerians use LPG and CNG for cooking and transportation. NUJ president acknowledged the minister's impactful leadership in the past year and commended him for his successful implementation of government policies aimed at increasing local content across the gas value chain. We are eager to learn more about the progress made, the challenges encountered, and the achievements thus far. We are looking for a way to drive this uh, progress to the new and trends of this country. Within the next few years, things will turn around. Let us be hopeful. Achievements, he says, are not only commendable, but also provide a solid foundation for more progress.